Hey, this is Chris. Good morning. I want to talk a little bit about viruses. By the way, we remove all kinds of viruses at Lee Acres Computers. So, if you have a virus, bring it in. You usually get some kind of warning from your antivirus. And sometimes it'll clean it up and sometimes it won't. Uh, sometimes it stays there. Sometimes the antivirus can't do anything with it. Uh, but more than likely, you, you won't get any kind of notice. You'll just notice... Um, the computer's running very slowly for no apparent reason, or you'll see a lot of extra pop-up ads, or you know all kinds of things. You'll see you'll, your your hard drive will be running continuously. You know the little hard drive light. Um, what else? You'll see constant network activity. Like you look, you know, you look at your. You know, I really liked it when XP had the little network indicator down there that actually flashed when data was going across your network connection. Uh, None of the newer operating systems have that, and so you, that's a harder one to tell. But you can tell because you you try you try to get on the internet, you either have no access, or it's so painfully slow that you know that something's using up all your bandwidth. And so, uh, but what I really want to talk about was an analogy. Um, let's say you do have a virus, and it gets on your computer, and you run your antivirus, or you run your malware bytes like you know you're supposed to, and it cleans it off, and but your computer does not return back to normal. That, unfortunately, is a somewhat normal occurrence. And I like to use the analogy of a fire in a house to what a virus does to your computer. You know, you, you're in the kitchen, you get a little grease fire. Um, and fortunately, you've got your fire extinguisher there and you put it out, uh, but not before it's burns up your exhaust fan and everything above the stove. Just because you put the fire out doesn't mean you can just go back to cooking now. It means there's a bunch of stuff that needs to be fixed first. Then you can go back to cooking. That's how it is with a virus on a computer. A virus tears through your system files. A good one does. Or a bad one. That's the case. Well, it, actually it's bad. But a well-designed virus wreaks havoc on your operating system files. Replaces them with copies or whatever that are malicious. And so when your antivirus goes through to clean up these files, sometimes the files are damaged or the files are missing and your computer still does not work right and there's more work that needs to be done. And so, you know, that's where we come in. Uh, if you've had a virus, and we, I see it a lot. And a lot of times, you know, somebody will bring in a, a computer and they'll say, well, yeah, my antivirus found this and it cleaned it up and said my computer's still not running right. It's like, it's because there, there's files, like I said, there's files missing. There's things that are still not right. Configuration settings have been messed up. And you, all those things have to be put back right. And that that's where, in, in the computer cleanup and repair business, we get a little bit beyond what your average, even good computer user is really capable of doing. Not well. It's not that they're not capable of doing it. It's just that it's a lot. It's a lot. If you can get on the internet, you can probably figure it out. Unfortunately, if your computer's in that kind of condition, you're probably not able to get on the internet. And so that's where we come in. And we, you know, like I like I tell people, you know, they ask me if I went to school for this stuff. I said no, but after you do a few thousand of them, you kind of get a feel for it. <laughs> and uh, so yeah, I've seen it all. Very, I very rarely see anything I haven't seen before, and you know I can just pretty much look at a computer and say, "Oh, yeah, this is it's this or that or the, this other thing," and it's usually like two or three things. But <clears throat> anyway, that's where we can help. That's where we can help you get back, uh, get your operating system back. You know, in in bad cases, we just have to reload it. But I really like to avoid that because. You know, you've spent a long time getting your computer the way you want it, and it's the way you want it, and you don't want to have to redo that process. And you may not even remember exactly how you got it there, because I, 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 that happens to me all the time. It's like I did something to my computer that was good that I wanted to do, and then I reload it, and then that feature doesn't work anymore. It's like, now how did I, what did I do? And then I have to do, do a bunch of research to figure it out. So. And if you've got a lot of programs to reload, it's just, it's better to try, it's better to try to, to clean it up first. And fortunately, there's a lot of good tools out there uh, that help me do just that uh, with your computer. So no matter, how, no, matter, no matter how bad it is, one way or another, you're going to get a working computer back. But hopefully, 
about 95 percent of the time we can we can do it without reloading windows and you get it back in the same you get it back the way it was before you had the virus in the first place and so that's the goal so anyway if you need help like that <coughs> if you need help with something like that please leave a question or comment in the section below we'll respond there or you can call us 919-518-6649 you can message us on Facebook. You can text us. I like texting the best. I'm going to do a video on that. All the different ways we talk on the uh, over the internet or over the phone and how confusing it can be. But anyway, texting is best, but you can reach us anyway. And uh, as soon as we are aware of your message, we will get right back to you. So anyway, that's it for today. Have a good one. We'll see you on the next one.